we will learn about Colcon now. The Colcon is a tool that Trust uses in order to build the package from the source. We work in a workspace where we store the package and the Colcon will be used to build these packages. So here is the command in order to install. So it is installed and now we will be creating our first workspace. Remember that we pushed a line in the bash rc that was the source opt ros and foxy setup dot bash. So this is how we source a terminal. That was our underlay workspace and now we will be creating an overlay workspace. Uh, open the files, create a folder ros2 underscore ws ros2 workspace. Now we will clone a package inside our workspace. So cd ros2 workspace. So now we are in our workspace from the terminal and uh, we will be cloning a package that is here. Yeah, so now it has a src folder and then example and then there are some code inside this and we will just see the package structure. The src folder in which we keep our repository trace try to build this. How we can build it? We, there are actually two commands. One is the callcon space build and the other is callcon build minus minus sampling minus install. So what is the difference between these two commands? Okay, the callcon build will be building all the packages from the source. Instead of just building, if we add the keyword samlink install, it, it will also be linking the packages with the installation directory and build directly. The callcon build minus minus samlink install is command that build the packages faster. So we will be using this command. And now it is building our first package that we just cloned. Remember that we we had just src folder before but after we enter the command it has created three extra folders so in the build folder it builds and save the files in binaries into this build directory and in the install directory it creates the file that will be used to install and in the log folder it saves the log information from the different logs now we have built the package. After building, our workspace is still not sourced. So we also have to source this particular workspace in order to run a node. Okay, so how do we do that? By S-O-R-C-E, install, and set up dot by. Using this command, callcon test, we can also monitor the package about their callcon status. Do you remember how do we run a node? If we would use command ros to run package name and then the executable node. ros to run package name is the example underscore and the node name subscriber member function. So node is running. Now we will open up another terminal and uh, we will type this command. This is the publisher command. Okay, it is publishing and this is receiving. Okay, so this is how we can run a node from our workspace. <laughs>